Welcome to The Daily Spin. I'm Steve from InlineSkates.com. We have with us, joining us today is Van, the Director of Sales for K2 Skate, our skate expert. And in my hands is the K2 VO2 Max 100. So uh, this is the part of the VO2 Max line, uh, which all share sort of this um, boot uh, technology. Let's kind of start with the lower cuff. What's the benefit of the lower cuff on this boot than the non-VO2 max line. A little bit more articulation in that lower cuff. These skaters are, have good balance by and large and don't need the additional height. Okay. Now it also has um, this nice little thing here. What do Quick we call lace. this thing? Quick lace. Okay. Quick lace is a uh, lacing mechanism, um, an improvement over just a standard lace in that it uh, it's easy to get tight, mm -hmm. um, and it's also easy to loosen. Um, but it locks too, so it's going to stay. There's a lock here on the tongue, both to get uh, to hold it as well as to release it. And a little pouch here to put it in. Yeah, got a little stash, stash pouch. Uh, so in addition to the lace, we have some other features that are designed to get a nice snug fit. We, we've got the uh, the power strap here on the arch and instep, and we also have the uh, the cuff buckle, uh, or the cuff strap, uh, both intended to really drive the heel back down into the back of the skate. Okay, so we've got a couple other things to talk about on the boot. We have this Vortec ventilation system, which yep. is this little mesh here, some air scoops here. Yep. Uh, what do we need that for? Uh, the idea here is that this skater is going to be a higher performance skater, probably skating more uh, for a longer period of time, more distance. Uh, and probably perspiring more. So we wanted to create a, uh, a way to dry the boot out. So we have little air intakes here on the bottom of the boot mm -hmm. and little breather holes both here and in the back of the upper part of the boot. The idea is to create a little bit of a flow of air, hopefully to dry the, the boot out more comfortable for a longer period of time. Air conditioning for the foot. Air conditioning for the foot. And then lastly about the boot, we have an ultra long custom fit foam. Yep. What's that? Um, it, it is a foam that shapes to your foot. And you can either do that by heating it up, say take a hair dryer and put it inside there for a bit, heat the foam up, put the boot on, or just through wearing the boot repeatedly, that foam is gonna to shape to your foot and it's gonna hold that shape. So the longer you skate it or the more frequently you skate it, the better the hold and the shape of the boot will be. So it truly does custom fit and, and retain that yes. fit yep. to the next wearing. Exactly, yep. Great, so that's an awesome boot. I mean, it's got every feature you can possibly imagine, but I was gonna tell you that I think this skate um, came in defective. <laughs> it's got different size wheels on the front than on the back. There's 90s on the front and 100s on the back. Somebody must have made a mistake in the factory. Yeah, uh, let's hope not. No. Is it supposed to be like it's that? It's supposed to be like that. So uh, what's the reason why we'd have smaller wheels, 90 millimeter in front, and bigger wheels, 100 millimeter, millimeter well, in the back? It's a technology that's been around, or a feature that's been around for a number of years, but the idea behind a high-low is kind of multifold. One is the larger wheel actually rolls a bit faster, um, so we, we like those on higher speed skates. As you move up in speeds. performance skates, the wheels typically get bigger, right? That's correct, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, the lower wheels or the smaller wheels on the front actually allow the frame of the skate to get a little bit lower to the ground. So it's a little bit more stable skate than a full 100 millimeter or even a 110. Mm -hmm. uh, so it gives you a little bit of added stability. It also increases the maneuverability of the skate just a little bit. Uh, so those features together are kind of what you get out of a high-low system. Because the natural shape of the foot is to be higher in the back giving you yep. room for the 100 lower in the front. If these were all hundreds, then the skate would be higher. Exactly. And not being quite as stable, being a little yep. lower to the ground. Gives you a, a more of a uh, performance, uh, or excuse me, a stable mm -hmm. platform. You're slightly lower in the front, so you're in a little bit more stable stance. Kind of the best of both worlds. The yep. bigger wheel for speed, the smaller wheel for performance for and stability. stability. Okay, and then this, this has all the high-end ILQ9 bearing. Uh, yep. Full aluminum frame, ILQ9s, and a combination of 190 millimeter um, wheels. So who van would be the customer who should purchase a skate like this? This is, this is a pretty serious athlete. Um, we, we often see these guys as being cross trainers, uh, often from other sports like skate racing, uh, cross country skiing, or even bicycling. Or downhill skiing. Or downhill skiing, or, or even sport, hockey. Don't forget, don't forget downhill skiing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is the true high performance. This really has the highest performance wheels and bearings that you guys yep. offer. That's correct. Uh, in a skate. Uh, there you have it. There's the VO2 Max 100 for men. This has been the Daily Spin. 
from inlineskates.com. Have a great day.